Hey guys, well I just picked up a pneumatic spark plug cleaner for the shop and I'm a little bit skeptical on how well this thing is actually going to work. So let's go through it and do it together and try it out and uh, we'll show you all that right after this. Hey guys, Alex here from All For Him Racing and today I'm going to be filming a video about a new product I just picked up. It seemed worth, uh, worth giving it a shot. It is a pneumatic spark plug cleaner from Central Pneumatic here. Uh, I actually picked this up from Harbor Freight but it's also available on Amazon and some other retailers. I'll try to throw a link in the description down below so be sure to check it out. Read the reviews for yourself. Obviously this is just going to be my review and my take on how well it, it works but um, definitely read some other people's uh, thoughts and opinions on this. It retails for about $30 if you were to pay full price. This was on sale uh, the other day for 10 bucks, so I figured, you know what, I'm gonna pick this thing up and let's try it out. Because for $10, if I can clean my spark plugs, it just seems worth the money, you know? Because it's so easy to rack up money constantly changing out spark plugs if you're following them real quick or you have some other issues. So we're gonna go ahead and actually give this thing a shot. So I've actually gone ahead and already opened it up. I should have filmed a video on it of me opening it just so you guys could see what it looks like when it comes in. But uh, feel free to look at it for yourself. Obviously the directions are really simple. This bag is not attached when it first arrives. It's just an open uh, chamber here. It's got two sides. Yeah, the directions tell you um, what you need to do to assemble it. Uh, the way that this thing actually works is it's essentially like a little mini sandblast cabinet. So you actually will put in a blast media that goes into this chamber. Uh, it is supplied in a bag. It only comes in a little container. Uh, so you'll definitely want to probably pick up the extra container that you can purchase alongside of it. Just because it's gonna, you're going to go through it pretty quick. So you put the blast media into the chamber. The directions again show you what you need to do. You slip the bag over the top, wrap the band that is included around it, and then tighten it down. Uh, it does have... Um, a sticker that you that comes and covers this rubber hole uh, and I um, removed it and it got damaged before I had a chance to film this video so I went ahead and just threw a quick piece of masking tape over the end just to keep the blast media inside the chamber. Once that's all done it also then uh, recommends that you put some Teflon tape here on this fitting so I removed it added the tape and then screwed that back in. Again, it's all in the directions and there's a lot of good sources online showing you how to do that. Um, the sake of this video though is just to show you guys, does this thing actually work? And in case you're also wondering, no, it did not come with the writing on the side. That is me um, just trying to idiot proof it for myself. Um, it recommends that it is you hook it up to your air compressor and use it at 90 PSI. Um, and this is the actual trigger here. So you hook the hose up just like you would for any uh, kind of fitting for your air compressor. You'll hit the trigger and then with the spark plug also inserted at this end and essentially it works like a little mini sandblast cabinet and um, will blast and remove all the junk off of your spark plug. So I got really excited with this after I purchased my boat because my boat, as you guys saw in one of my other videos, is a Sea-Doo Sportster. It has a, the Rotax engine and it is um, two-stroke. So that thing uh, will dirty up a spark plug in no time whatsoever. So let's just go ahead and actually give this thing a try. Well, I've gone ahead and removed the spark plug from my boat. Um, as you guys could hopefully see if the camera decides to ever focus here, um, this thing is actually pretty dirty. You know, it's not terrible, but it is also not super clean. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and just try this thing out and see how well it cleans up. As you, if anybody does this on a regular basis, trying to clean these uh, the electrodes with sandpaper or different means, um, there's certainly all kinds of different techniques that are out there. It just takes a while, it is kind of a little tedious, and honestly, it only lasts for a short while. So I'm curious if this thing actually helps out a little bit more than some of those other techniques. So I've gone ahead and actually mounted this in the vise. Now, the reason I did that is I was reading the directions and it actually has two uh, mounting tabs here. And what it suggests you do is actually screw it or bolt it and mount it to a wall um, before you use it. 
Now, because I'm trying this thing out, I'm not gonna mount it to the wall just yet. I wanna make sure that it works. Um, so I just went ahead and clamped it down in a vise here uh, with a rag just to protect the, the housing. So it's oriented uh, vertically here. Personally, I'm not convinced that this is the best method because it shows a picture of them adding the media by just dumping it in the front. Uh, um, but you know, gravity works and it's gonna wanna just fall right out in my opinion. So I feel like, you know, you need to be able to remove it from the wall, fill it with the blast media, and then maybe put it back. So something to keep in mind if you're trying to mount it and you may wanna make it movable. You know, just my two cents based on uh, if I was designing this product, that's how I would do it. We'll grab the spark plug. Got the spark plug, it says to stick it in the rubber piece here. I'm gonna stick it in as far as I can. Um, and go ahead and then we will push the trigger. I'm gonna hold it right here also just to, to make sure it's good. And then it says just to push the button. It doesn't give a time, a suggested time period. So we're just gonna kinda use our best guess and see how well it works. Okay, it's a little bit of powder coming out and around. Okay, maybe spin it a little bit just for fun. Do it again. Okay, now let's go ahead and pull it out. And, wow, look at that. Bit of focus here. It did in fact actually do something. You can see that it is not as black and dark as it uh, once was. There's still a lot of blast media in here, so obviously you're gonna wanna take an air compressor and blow this out, um, vacuum it, um, hit it with some compressed air out of a can, whatever you need to do. Clean up all the uh, debris here from the blast media. But if you look at that, it's actually not too bad. One other thing that the directions actually talk about is there's um, another, there's a little uh, tab over here. Um, I'll try to get another video of it with a better angle. But you can actually move this forward and supposedly you can get more blast, a little more bang for your buck using it that direction. So I went ahead and flipped it. Let's see what this does. Now there's really not a whole lot that you feel or see going on. It's really quiet, it doesn't vibrate. Um, only a little bit minor dust in the air. Remove it. And not bad, not bad at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and take, uh, again, just like an air chuck or something from air compressor and just try to blow this media out of the thread and away from the spark plug. Make sure to blast up in there too. That is definitely one benefit that this thing has to offer that I never even really thought of or considered, was the fact that that blast media can get down and inside the spark plug and actually clean this whole area out. So you can keep um, the chance of getting debris and other junk falling out of the plug and into your motor, uh, get that out of the way. Just one less thing to have to worry about. So overall, I have to say, I am happy with this product. It does what it is intended to do. Is it the best? You know, maybe not, but um, it actually did in fact clean the spark plug. So therefore, spark plug cleaner, as the name, it did its job. Uh, my one complaint and one issue that I found, other than, you know, some assembly required, not a big deal, was this trigger here is um, a little touchy. And when I first plugged the air hose in, it was actually leaking air. Right now it won't do it, because all I did was I kept turning this just a little bit until it stopped leaking. And I think maybe it was just caught just right, or maybe one of the seals hasn't been worn in yet or something, but it was leaking air out of this when I first took the hose up to it. But something else to keep in mind, if it does start leaking here, maybe just try wiggling this a little bit, giving it a little bit of a twist that's seated for me, hasn't leaked since, something to keep in mind. So it does its job, as it says, um, seems worthwhile to pick up if you have problems with spark plugs, you own a little shop or something, definitely worth the cheap investment. Give it a try for yourself. If not, return it. You know, no, no harm, no foul there. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, if it was, give us a nice little thumbs up there. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will provide links to this stuff down in the 
the description below so be sure to check that out for yourself as I said read the reviews other people uh, other stories their applications maybe it didn't work or maybe it was awesome for me all I did was verify that this thing works so from a longevity standpoint I can't speak to that how well this thing will hold up over time you know how quickly you need to change the media uh, follow the directions read other people's opinions on that and as always we ask that you guys have a great day so until the next video we'll talk to you later guys Welcome.